Welcome to Schilla, which is called the most beautiful town in Italy. We have had a stroll already, but we are not convinced that it's true. So that is going to be the mission today, if this is actually the most beautiful town in Italy. Schilla is actually a small fisherman's town and it is quite idyllic here and you have a really authentic atmosphere. So I'm very excited to discover. What about you, Jon? I think as a, there's a lot of competition when it comes to the most beautiful town in Italy. <laughs> a lot of hard competition. You got Portofino, Positano, Matera. A lot of places. Yeah. What are we eating, Amelia? So for lunch, we are having fish of the day, which is newly catch swordfish. 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 Sword. Nej, det kalder de det ikke. De kalder det swarf. S W O R. Men 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 det er fordi at W det er stumt, så det er sort. Oh, you so cutie. We are having swordfish, but I think we should enjoy our little lunch here and then take a stroll. Get go. Are we getting a scooter? Pretty soon we are actually in Lisbon. One of the things we like the most about Italy are these small cities. Oh, not cities. You always say cities. Towns. It's a town. I don't know when it goes from a city to being a town. Let's say 20,000 people. One of the things we like the most are these tiny narrow streets here. And you can just see how old it is. Well, okay, this is a terrible example. <laughs> okay, here, here. This is old. And Scylla is... How old is this town? Scylla was built by the Greeks, so oh, it's yeah. probably a thousand years old. Scylla, it's based on Greek myth. myth, myth, myth. You know the um, story of Scylla? I actually love that story. It has anything to do with God, Scylla? No, it doesn't. Scylla is a sea monster. It was said that it lived here in the ocean. So the city actually goes out and then you got two bays. And back in time, the harbor was on the bay where today there is the beach. But all the fishermen and all the sailors, they didn't want, they were afraid for the, from the sea monster. So they didn't want to go to the harbor because they knew that the, the sea monster would come and grab their boat and drown them. And uh, in these modern days, the prehistoric sea monster has turned into tourists. And that's something that really scares the shit out of me because, <laughs> yes. ooh, tourists. Look at this place, Jon. Oh my God. I wish I could do like Evan Almighty. <laughs> you want me to, to insta, sh insta shit the shit out of you? Honestly, it's hard to for me not to go in the water here because the water is so clear and you can't barely tell how clear it is because it's cloudy today. If it was sunny, you guys would be mind blown about mind blown about this place. <laughs> and that's also a rule that I have. If it's cloudy, I don't go in the water. I only go in the water if it looks like we're at Maldives. They have these sea cracks yeah. everywhere. Imagine waking up, looking out at this window, on that view. I mean, so idyllic. This, also, this is like, you know, a perfect Airbnb. But seriously, look how they actually build it out of smaller stone. I don't think I've seen this before. Yeah, it's like they didn't have enough uh, concrete mashed guacamole cement. There are so many small things and buildings and gizmos and items and flowers, it just reminds me so much of Greece. It really looks like walking on a little island in Greece. A hydra. If it was sunny, like you could multiply the, the, um, the beauty with five. Oh, that's something we have to take account for yeah, when, we, we, when we come with the verdict of is this the most beautiful town in Italy? Can you wait for the verdict? I don't think so. I don't like when you objectify me. We're going uphill now to see the castle. It's a landmark of Scylla, so obviously we have to do it. You know what, Fiat? I think they would make a banger hit if they made similar size. The if, same car, just yeah, a newer version. You know, fuck the Fiat 500. Build this one. A true replica, but in a modern way. And that goes for a lot of old cars. And I know there is like boundaries in terms of you can't redo them on a Lisa. 
but everybody wants to dry them and from a safety perspective it wouldn't make sense because those are you know death sentence especially here in Italy but you <laughs> I mean it's year old time it's okay year old time okay So, what's the name of this? I think it's Castello Ruf. Rufo. Rufo. Castello Rufo. Pretty uh, epic entrance. Are you ready to show the view? That's uh, Silla di Marina. And that's where all the modern sea monsters are piled up. I think the beauty of Silla stops at the end of road, the road here because then you see all the classical modern Italian architecture. It's horrible to look at. It's really a strain for the eye, but luckily we can look at the other side. So we have used all of our cash and we just realized that you gotta pay two euros per person to get in here. We don't have that. I don't think we have it. Let me check. Please. They have the whole percent I think we have four euros. No. Finances have been better. Yeah. We had four euros. Now we are officially cash broke. I'm never going to accept that cash is king rather than the credit card. I but mean, why not... won't you just adapt? It's because they have so much black money. Yeah, but it's not <laughs> only here. It's it's just the same in Portugal and yeah, yeah, yeah. South but I mean, Spain. it's su Southern Europe in a nutshell. I've never been big on Instagram, but I've actually considered making a new Instagram profile at I Love Doors. Every second photo would be a door, and every other second photo would be me and the door. That is How a do you very, like that concept? very, very interesting, Jon. I think it's an intriguing concept. Follow your dream, Jon. Follow your dream. This gives me a huge flashback to our Matera Airbnb. What's up, my boys? It's so charming. This is a very Instagram-friendly place, Jon. Yeah, it's do really... Do you want to take some photos of the doors? This is where you take your mandatory... Uh, we just found this note with a lot of uh, his history facts. In 1783 there was a, an earthquake here. It collapsed, half of it. Actually there were two violent earthquakes, yeah, seven, 1783 and 1908. And the one in 1703 was the same that ruined the other abandoned uh, city. The ghost town. Yeah. Fairly well maintained. When you think about the fact that it's been through a lot of earthquakes, so yeah, uh, props to the engineers of the medieval times. The fast we can see back in time is to 1533, where the family of Rufo stayed here. So anyway, they stayed here, they were the first family that was known to stay here in this castle, and that's why the castle is called Rufus. Rufo. Rufo. Is that the guy from Peter Pan? Rufo. 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 I doubt it. Rufio. No, that's Rufio. That's, yeah, Rufio. I think it's 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 one of the the more um, uh, prettier pre pretty towns in in Italy. Sure. I mean, I haven't been everywhere in Italy, but I've been. I mean, definitely doesn't top Positano. It Nothing is. tops Positano. It is a little uh, paradise here. I I must confess. It's the prettiest place in, in Calabria. If you're a beach lion, you will love it too. Or beach lioness. Unless you are lioness. By the way, that is Sicily over there. We have to go to Sicily at some point, yeah. but yeah. Although I am a beach lion, I'm not a modern sea monster. You know, I like to think of myself as not a tourist because, you know, I'm a professional travel blogger. But it's really hot today. I think we should join the sea monsters or maybe find our own little sea monster cave. I have the perfect spot you on. Yeah? Are you ready? Okay. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as we enjoyed it. Gotta say, it might not be the most pretty town in Italy, but it's goddamn close. 
see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye. Ich kann mal Bye. <laughs> <laughs>